Hello, this is our control engineering project on attitude control. Uh, here is the motivation for attitude control. So, attitude control is controlling the orientation of an object with respect to an inertial frame of reference or another entity that is the celestial bodies, certain fields or nearby objects. This requires sensor to control and measure orientation. Actuators are needed to apply torques and to reorient the vehicle to a desired attitude and algorithms to command the actuators based on sensor measurement of the current attitude and specification of a desired attitude. The integrated field that studies the combination of sensors, actuators and algorithm is called Guidance, Navigation and Control or GNB. Now the introduction. Uh, attitude control is oftentimes needed so that the spacecraft high gain antenna may be accurately pointed to earth for communication so that onboard experiment may accomplish precise pointing for accurate collection and subsequent interpretation of data so that the heating and cooling effects of sunlight and shadow may be used intelligently for thermal control. And there are two basic types of stabilization and attitude control. First is spin stabilization, second is three axis stabilization. Now let us come to first method of stabilization that is spin stabilization. So spin stabilization is the method of stabilizing a satellite or launch vehicle by means of spin. For most satellite applications, this approach has been superseded by three axis stabilization. Spin stabilization can be accomplished by setting the spacecraft spinning. The gyroscopic action of the rotating spacecraft mass is the stabilizing mechanism. Propulsion system thrusters are fired only occasionally to make desired changes in spin rate or in the spin stabilized attitude. Now let us come to second method of stabilization that is three axis stabilization. So three axis stabilization involves the use of three gyroscopes, one for each axis x, y and z to keep satellites correctly oriented in space. This is achieved using reaction wheels. Reaction wheels are usually implemented as special electric motors mounted along at least three directions. For example, along the X, Y and Z axis provides no redundancy while mounting four along tetrahedral axis provides redundancy. Changes in speed are controlled electronically by computer. Now moving on to the geometry which comprises of two parts namely sensors and actuators. Due to limitation of time we will discuss only about the sensors. Sensors are basically of two types relative attitude sensors and absolute attitude sensors. Relative attitude sensors generate outputs that reflect the rate of change in attitude while absolute attitude sensors sense the position or orientation of fields objects or other phenomena outside the spacecraft. Their components are discussed. Relative attitude sensors are of two types. They are gyroscope and motion reference units. Now the gyroscopes. Gyroscopes are devices that sense rotation in three dimensional space without reliance on the observation of external objects. Classically, a gyroscope consists of a spinning mass, but there are also laser gyros utilizing coherent light reflected around the closed path. Another type of gyroscope is a hemispherical resonator gyroscope where a crystal cup shaped like a wine glass can be driven into oscillations. Motion reference units are a kind of inertial measurement unit with single or multi-axis motion sensors. Uh, they utilize MEMS gyroscopes. Some of the multi-axis MRUs are capable of measuring roll, pitch, yaw and heave. Now we will discuss about absolute attitude sensors. They are of six types. Horizon sensor, orbital gyro compass, sun sensor, earth sensor, star tracker and magnetometer. Now one by one we will discuss about each one. Horizon sensors. A horizon sensor is an optical instrument that detects light from the limb of earth's atmosphere that is at the horizon. Thermal infrared sensing is often used which senses the comparative warmth of the atmosphere compared to the much colder cosmic background. Now the orbital gyro compass. Similar to the way that a earthy gyro compass utilizes a pendulum to feel native gravity and influence its gyro in its orientation with earth's rotation and consequently point north. An orbital gyro compass utilizes vista detector to feel the management to earth's center 
and gyrotope field gyration about an axis usual to the trajectory plane. Thus, the horizon sensor provides pitch and roll measurements, and the gyro provides yaw. Now, the star tracker. A star camera or star tracker is a celestial reference device that recognizes star patterns such as constellations. To recognize star patterns, Compass uses an active pixel sensor APS in a wide field of view, miniature star camera. APS is a new type of compact imaging device with an array of photo sensors. Here is the image of a star tracker. Now the last, that is the magnetometer. A magnetometer is an instrument with a sensor that measures magnetic flux density B in units of Tesla. Magnetometers refers to sensors used for sensing magnetic fields or to systems which measure magnetic fields using one or more sensors. Since magnetic flux density in air is directly proportional to magnetic field strength, a magnetometer is capable of detecting fluctuations in the Earth's field. Magnetometers have two types. First is vector magnetometer. A vector magnetometer measures the flux density value in a specific direction in three-dimensional space. Next is the scalar magnetometer. A scalar magnetometer measures only the magnitude of the vector passing through the sensor regardless of the direction. Here are the references to some of the sources that we used in our project. Okay, thank you.